For this problem, we'll work our way backwards. We'll be given the relation in its visual form and we'll find that out. We'll write that in its set builder form. So sets P and R are related. This is P, 9, 4 and 25. And this is R, 5, 3, 2, 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 5. And this is what the relation looks like visually. 9 is related to 3 and minus 3. 4 has 2 and minus 2 and 25 has 5 and minus 5. This is what we know. What do we need to find? We need to write this relation in roster form and also in set builder form. And we need to find its domain and range. Pause the video. Try this on your own. Now let's get started. Before that, a quick refresher. These are two sets A and B. They are related in this way. These are the elements that are part of the relation from set A. The horse, the zebra, the frog and the fish. They together form the domain. That's the set of all first elements in the relation. And the elements from set B that are part of the relation, the land and water, well, they form the range. That's the set of all second elements in the relation. And if we take the entire set B, that's called the codomain. So codomain is the entire set B that's going to be land, water and air. Okay, let's bring back the problem. P, 9, 4, 25. So that's our domain. R, 5, 3, 2, 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. That's going to be our codomain. How do we find the range? Well, let's look at the relation. 9 is with 3 and minus 3, 2 and minus 2, 25 is with 5 and minus 5. Okay, what's left? 1 is left. So other than 1, everything else is part of the relation, which means 5, 3, 2, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. They together form the range of this relation. So now we know the domain, the codomain and the range. Let's write that down. The domain is 9, 4, 25. Codomain is this thing, 5, 3, 2, 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5, basically the entire set. And range is all of this except the element 1. So that's our domain, codomain range. We're mostly there. How do we write this relation down? Well, let's first write this down in the roster form. For roster form, we need a set and we have ordered pairs inside it. How many do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 6 ordered pairs. And what are they? We have 9 and 3. We have 9 and minus 3. We have 4 and 2. We have 4 and minus 2. We have 25 and 5. And finally, we have 25 and minus 5. Okay. Almost there. Now we need to write this in the set builder form. Can we think of the relation here? What's actually connecting these numbers to these numbers? Think about it. Okay. So all of these are perfect squares. 9, 4 and 25. And 3 and minus 3, if we square them, we get 9. And for 2 and minus 2, if we square these two, we get 4. So if x is from P and y is from Q, can we say that x is equal to y square? That's going to be our relation. That's going to be the connection between P and Q. Let's write that down. So R is equal to another set. And here we have an ordered pair x and y, x comma y, such that x is equal to y square. Any x that you pick from the set P, you'll have a y square where y is from the set Q. This means x is from set P, x belongs to P and y belongs to Q. I know this seems a little dry. The visual way is mostly the favorite way of representing things. And then we have the actual numbers in the roster form, but we should also be practicing how to write these things in the set builder form as well. Okay.